Home, Red Sox, MLB Field Level Media April 21, 2018 to 27 a.m. Boston Red Sox first baseman Mitch Moreland, 18, rounds the bases on a grand slam home run against the Oakland Athletics during the sixth inning at Oakland Coliseum in Oakland, California, April 20, 2018. Kelly L. Cox, USA Today Sports, Mitch Moreland hit reliever Emilio Pagan's first pitch of the evening for a tie-breaking grand slam in the sixth inning Friday night, propelling the Boston Red Sox to their eighth straight win, a 7-3 triumph over the Oakland Athletics in Oakland, California. The Red Sox trailed the opener of a three-game series 3-0 after one inning, but quickly evened the score on a three-run home run by Jackie Bradley Jr. in the second, setting the stage for Moreland's game-winning blow four innings later. Right-hander Hector Velasquez, 3-0, pitched three innings of shutout relief to get the win. A starter Kendall Graveman, 0-4, who loaded the bases in the six, took the loss. Kaufman had retired 11 straight batters following Bradley's homer before Mookie Betts, Andrew Benintendi and Hanley Ramirez singled consecutively to open the sixth. Pagan then came on and immediately served up Moreland's grand slam, the third of his career and first since 2016. The homer was Moreland's second of the season. The ace jumped on left-hander Drew Pomerantz, making his first start of the season, for three runs in the first inning, catching a break when Matt Chapman struck out for what would have been the third out, except that the ball got away from catcher Christian Vasquez for a wild pitch that kept the inning alive. The ace led 1-0 at the time, with Jed Laurie knocking in the first run. Matt Olson and Mark Canha followed Chapman's strikeout with RBI singles that made it 3-0. Robman retired the first battery faced in the top of the second, but Rafael Devers and Eduardo Nunez singled, after which Bradley bombed his second homer of the season to draw Boston even. Pomerantz, who began the season on the disabled list with a strained left forearm, was pulled two outs into the fourth inning, having thrown 88 pitches. He allowed three runs and five hits in his three and two-thirds innings. He walked two and struck out seven. Grovman was credited with six runs allowed on seven hits in five-plus innings. He struck out six and did not walk a batter. Velasquez teamed with Brian Johnson, Matt Barnes and Joe Kelly for five and a third innings of shutout relief, helping the Red Sox improve to 4-0 to on their current 10-game trip while extending the pitching staff's string of games allowing three or fewer runs to eight straight. Nunez collected three hits and Ramirez two for the Red Sox, who were coming off a three-game sweep of the Los Angeles Angels in which they scored at least eight runs in each win. Laurie had four hits, including a pair of doubles, and Olsen added a pair of singles for the A's, who had a four-game winning streak snapped. The Red Sox out hit the A's 11-10. Red Sox, MLB Weekend, Top 10, Planner, April 20-22, 20 2018 Will spring ever arrive? We're not so sure at this point, but we're going to try to make the best of it, considering it's spring school vacation in the Granite State. Hit the road and shake away the Kevin Hart, Irresponsible Tour Sunday, 8 p.m.